All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading May 11th to uh, May 17th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a private reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is uh, going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, with that being said, let's move to the spread of the week straight away so the first card which represents the very topic of your week here uh, leo we do have the empress followed by the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic that will be the eight of cups followed by the challenges that you will have to overcome we do have an individual that will be the knight of swords afterwards we have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week that will be the eight of wands the impression that you're going to leave into the people around that will be the six of wands and the last one that we have it is the guidance that Taro is offering that will be the six uh, of uh, cups quite interesting here um so the challenges it is what intrigues me in what kind of relation that uh, that individual is going to have with the situation because the only th the only thing that actually fits it is that you pretty much um uh, this one cannot keep up with you and uh, you you just pretty much have to leave that individual behind either that could be a colleague that could be a friend it could be a lover you know or it could be a, a person of interest regardless but it seems that um you're gonna grow uh in ever increasingly more um i would say suspicious that the things in between you and that individual can work out whatever the things are about you know it could be once again a common project common endeavor enterprise it doesn't have to be a relationship related it could be a career related okay it could be just a uh, how can i say it an interactions in between you and someone that you try to get a common ground with and it just it, it isn't happening so you have to abandon the whole thing and that is what the energies of the week are representing that you are to recognize what kind of situations are misfortune that relates to this person which is the challenges okay that are these situations are misfortune because not because they point a bunch of stress upon you not because they are posing a significant threat or are making your um environment and comfortable be, but because it's such a shame that you could not reach an agreement okay it's like owning a pawn shop and you see a, a good how can i say a um, a good item come in but the owner of the item that wants to sell it it asks for a ridiculous a ridiculous price and no matter what kind of a expert experts you bring down you just cannot make the person to see or to realize that they are never gonna make in a deal for that price and nonetheless they are just you know wants what they uh, what they want to get from it so you're not losing anything but you could have gained a lot if you could have make a, a common ground with that knight of swords so what happens is that is going to bring you to the uh, situation itself which is marked by the empress and uh, instead of wasting your time uh dwelling i would say into this uh, misfortune situation you straight away are going to detach from mid, from the midst of its activities and instead redirect your consciousness and under consciousness i mean the consciousness of of, of maturity so in other words devoting yourself into into much more productive enterprises and into much more fruitful um, actions and as well uh, situations that are to reside within the week itself so here you do make the well-founded and balanced decision or throughout the week you are going to make a well-founded and balanced decision that are things that are disrupting your peace, your balance and as well your comfort which is up for most importance simply ain't worth your time and instead you are to redirect your attention into those that actually can reap certain results moving forward into the future now however one thing it's important to be mentioned with the empress it's um that i'm explaining that into my classes that i'm leading but uh pretty much the results that the empress reaps they're either bitter or sweet so that's why it's very important to make your mind in mature fashion rather than to lean to your 
say recklessness and as well a, a over exaggerated emotional state at the very initial lack of agreement in between you and that knight of swords individual so um the challenge is going to be the person itself or the individual itself so we do have knight of swords these are a very very pushy people and when they fall or that card falls into a challenging or a negative position into spread it usually describes an individual who does not want to see any kind of other points of view rather than their point of view what i mean is that for them what they know it's it's a mandatory or rather like it is the only thing that matters and nothing is in is in shape or form to sway their opinion of it while they do have a, a very strong intellectual capa uh, capabilities and they do have a very very sharp mind they are very biased and they kind of like uh, structure their arguments around or bend the arguments around the things they do want to believe in and for that reason it will be extremely futile to try to, to try to make your points in front of that person and your challenge is simply to uh, sever ties because they ain't gonna stop coming if you show them that you for one or another reason or that there is even a, a little bit of a shred of a chance uh, you are gonna consider their proposal and their, their proposal is going to be frank, frankly quite preposterous here it's just it's it, it will not make any sense for you but maybe you're gonna hope that they will change their mind and therefore leaving the door a little bit open but they ain't gonna change their mind they see that little bit open door as a, a chance you to change your mind and to succumb to uh to their offer pretty much so um what we can conclude here from the reading thus far it is that you are to uh, banish or rather like uh, detach yourself from a quite of a, a negative influence that are simply wasting your time it doesn't do anything much it is just wasting your time uh, then we move to the next one which represents the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy uh, we have the eight of wands so outside of the situation that this knight of swords resides that card points that you are to have many more things to do uh, a week that will be dapple with dynamic and frankly said as soon as you detach from this person you are going to quickly find yourself occupied with much more productive exhilarating and enthusiastic enterprises as well and you alone even if it is a bit harder at the start to detach from the person because the offer is going to be good you know just the conditions around the offer it's not going to be i mean the product of the offer is going to be good but the offer itself the price that you gotta pay it will be preposterous and uh, it will be a, such a shame but as soon as you detach and you dive into the uh into the dynamic of the week you ain't gonna regret it at all because many new propositions offers opportunities as well are gonna come by to you because the eight of wands when it comes especially as the gifts and the blessings it is like a never-ending barrage of a new things that come your way and how versatile you're gonna make your week will depend on your personal preference because the eight of wands is completely conditional card what i mean is you get to decide which opportunity you want to take on okay uh, and that's why it will be important here that you do face all those opportunities with clear-headed mind because some of them are going to be high risk high reward and as we do have the empress of the uh, at the main of the reading empress the empress does not reside on on, on risks at all and when you do scope a a, a good opportunity once again your uh, strategy should be that you do detach from it for a day or two or for an hour or two just say to the person you know i just want to think about it for a while and try to make your decision based on a mature fashion so try to approach it in a mature way but how people are going to see you and we do have uh, the uh, six of wands well people are going to see you as a, a very successful individual and they are to recognize you for your um for for your wealth but under wealth, I don't mean only money. Wealth could be skills, it could be health, it could be love as well, you know, wealth in general. Not only in material, in its material, um, 
manifestation but also in its ethereal and spiritual uh, manifestation as well and also people uh, some individuals that are around you as well we will feel the necessity to reward you for your efforts so if you have made a um, some some work for somebody recently uh, or you have fulfilled uh, the word just jump off my mind uh, any favors recently as well even if you have not negotiated any price for them uh, there is a, a very very big chance that you are to receive a compensation nonetheless for throughout that week and whenever you find yourself struggling about something with the six of wands uh, a, a quite surprising and unexpected help is going to be proposed to you should you take it or not well that depends entirely on you and the final card that we have it is the guidance the tarot is offering so we do have the six of cups and uh, uh, it's pretty clear you have to focus on what makes you feel pleasant or rather like what uh, what ignites uh, what exerts pleasure into you and for that reason you need to make the um, the decision here the well-found and mature balanced decision to detach from this person that it is knight of swords because simply that situation with this individual is going to give you anything else but a pleasure and uh, you instead need to redirect to things that are making you feel happy because if you don't take care for your own happiness no one else will so that being said, um, Leo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, May 11 to May 17th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a private reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, we may see each other again. Until then, bye.